June 30, 1998, I was brought into this world, which means I've been on this planet, on this earth, for 18 years. Like, what? I don't know. So, that means I'm gonna share with you guys 18 things that I've learned while being 18. Well, I just turned 18, but 18 things I've learned in the past 18 years. Let go. So I just closed the AC so the audio is better. But number one is rock being different. So it doesn't matter if you look different, if you wear different things than everyone, just like rock being unique, rock being the only person who's doing something. And I'm still in the process of learning this, and I talked about this in one of my videos, but it's like, you just have to rock it. Like, all my school year, since I wore the hijab, I was the only hijabi. And in the beginning, I felt very awkward, but then in the last years of school, I was just like, like, I'm gonna rock it. Like, might as well rock it, you know what I mean? Count how many times I said rock in that past minute. Okay, so this one, I am still in the process of learning, but don't compare yourself to others. So, I find myself, I compare myself to people, uh, but not like materialistic things. Like, oh my god, she has that, I need that. Like, not like that at all. Or not like, um... Oh my god, she looks like that. Oh my god, my nose is bigger. Oh my god, not not in that sort of materialistic, superficial way, but in what people are doing. For example, I find myself on Instagram looking at a page of a girl that's my age, similar to my age, and I'm like, oh, she's doing such amazing things, and here I am being a potato. Like, you know what I mean? Which is so bad. So when I when I find myself getting into that mindset, I just have to close my phone. And just focus on myself. I have to remember that God, alhamdulillah, she's doing what she wants. She has a path in life and she's following it. Whilst I am doing my own thing. Which is fine. Everyone blossoms at their own age. Everyone does the career that, you know, Allah wants them to do. So you just have to remember that. And this is basically me speaking to myself. I have to remember that. Okay, cherish, cherish, cherish friendships. Cherish friendships. So I've moved so many times, like I, I moved probably like, I went to like eight different schools or something over my life. Ugh, speak slower. I went to eight different schools in my life. So I always have to remember to like keep in touch with people and I find that I, I learn to cherish friendships because I move so much and I make so many friends like everywhere I go like no, I mean like I make so many friends, not like that way, but it's like because I move so much so I have friends everywhere and I You just realize who your true friends are like I have some friends I don't talk to for over a year And then we see each other and it's like we've never left and just like cherish those kind of friendships and like make sure you put an effort To see people that you love Okay, so this one don't take yourself too seriously, but as well don't take yourself um too lightly so take yourself seriously enough so don't take yourself too seriously that you can't joke that you can't be like a normal human being like everything has to be like bomb 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 but again take yourself seriously enough so that other people take you seriously like if you say something that you think is smart which i find myself doing and then i giggle at them like i don't know like you know what i mean like I, I can sound so insecure in something like for example if I'm having an argument with someone about something like the meat and dairy industry like how annoying it is I find myself getting worked up and then I'm like wait but like and then I giggle so then I don't take myself seriously it's like I'm scared to and that's really bad so make sure you have confidence to take yourself seriously but then again don't overdo it you know what I mean life's about balance sleep is amazing I learned that I love naps I made a video where I talked about naps. I, I just really like having naps and I like sleeping. Be passionate and that's so important because if you put passion in what you love, I feel like there's a reward coming back. And the reward, it might not be money. The, word, the reward might be just happiness. Like with this YouTube channel, I've been so passionate about making videos and stuff and it's been so much fun. And I find, I find a reward coming back of just, it just makes me happy and um, there's so many people who are similar to me and I found them through this YouTube thing which is so awesome. I don't know. I just love it. Avocados are awesome. That's something I learned recently like in the past few years. When I was like 13 I found out about avocados. I didn't know this fruit even existed. It's a fruit because it has a seed. I need to remind myself of <laughs> fruits and vegetables. Okay. Because uh, we were once at a restaurant and there was a salad and it looked so good and I'm like, hey, what's that? And my mom was like, avocados. And I'm like, what? What? 
what's avocados? And I tasted it, I'm like, how come you never told me about avocados? I was pretty mad because I'm like, you hid this fruit from me. But now I love avocados. I have them, I have them like for breakfast every single day, like avocados on toast. Oh my god, so good. And for Sahur during Ramadan. Genuine smiles are awesome. Genuine smiles, it's like when you truly like smile within and it just shows in your eyes and your face and I don't know. Like I hate those fake smiles that you're like, that's what they look like, right? right? No, I just hate fake smiles. Genuine smiles are the best thing ever and that's something I learned. Be happy with yourself and don't look for external validation. Yes, that's something that I can say that I have securely learned. Yes. Be like, oh, I hate it when people are like, oh my god, he doesn't like me. Is there something wrong with me? Like, no, bitch, no. Just like, don't look for external validation. It's the worst thing ever. Like, be happy just being like a soul person, like solely yourself. And I hate it so much when people like try and look happiness through something or like buy something and expect that thing is gonna get them happiness. It's just so annoying. Like, materialistic things only make you happy for. Like, do they even, do they even, I found myself, like, um, like, I got really nice shoes, like, the last month, and I knew they wouldn't bring me happiness, but I really wanted them, and I got them, and I'm like, okay, now what, you know what I mean? But then if I go on a trip with friends, it's so much fun, if I do something, like, not materialistic, like, put your money in an experience, it's so much more rewarding. I don't know how I got into that round, but don't look for external validation to be happy. Talk to your mom. She knows stuff. I used to don't like. I used to have this thing with talking to mom. Like I don't want to talk to her. Like, but like now my mom's like my friend. <laughs> makeup is awesome, but don't rely on it. I love makeup. It's literally an art. Like makeup artists, they're artists. Makeup is so much fun, but don't rely on it 100%. Hard work pays off. Now my results come out in like six days, so I don't know if that's true, but like we have to see. But for the most part, when I put hard work in, I realize even, like, I get, I get it back, like, either with good grades, exercise, blah de blah de blah Ask questions if you don't, the answer is always no. This video is full of cliches, but, like, it's true. I used to be so scared as a kid to ask questions, but, like, as a group, I'm like, who the F cares? Just, like, ask questions, man, and you'll get your answers. It's not like... If you're the person that's being asked questions, it's not like, like, oh my god, I can't believe they asked me that unless they asked you something weird. But, like, most of the time, like, simple questions that you're curious about, if you just ask them, like, you'll know the answer, you know? Or, you won't know the answer. Who the F cares what people think? Literally, though, that's something that I learned. Like, and I, like, I confidently can say that I actually learned that. Because who cares what people think, man? Like, as long as you're happy, you're not doing anything anything <laughs> you're not doing anything haram you're so my camera my memory card filled up so i emptied it and now we're back to it what were we talking about who the f cares yeah as long as you're doing something that's making you happy you're not doing anything wrong you could do whatever the f you want salted dark chocolate care i mean what was i saying yeah salted dark chocolate is the best thing ever like literally literally <laughs> I need to find a vegan one though. If anyone knows of any vegan dark chocolates, salted vegan dark chocolates, hit me up. I really need to know it. And okay, this one though. Trust God's plan. And this goes back to the first thing where it's like comparing myself to others, like, oh, they've already reached that milestone. I'm like younger than them and I haven't, I mean, I'm older than them and I haven't even reached that. You just need to remember that God has a plan for everyone. We're all on different paths. So just need to, you need to remember that. And when I say you, I'm talking to myself. Like, this is my future self. Hi. <laughs> Quantity over quality. With friends. No, I was going to say with food, but like, abundance though. With friends. With things. Like a good camera working. <laughs> just with everything. Quality is better than quantity. This mostly relies to friends. Experiences over materialistic things. You need to learn that experiences are more important than materialistic things. And I already talked about that in this video, but just need to remember that. And I'm talking to myself, but I feel like I've already like passed that point. Like I just know that stuff and I believe in it and I've found it to be true. And I, I very rarely think I not at all actually think that gonna buy a product is gonna make me happy. That's why I've been like not really buying 
things, you know, like just things. I don't know, like got this camera, but like I feel like, for example, buying a camera, putting, oh, well, it wasn't my money, it was a gift. My friends got this for me, but I'm very thankful for it. But putting my money, for example, to in a camera, that I feel like that's a good materialistic thing because this allows you to experience things by putting by putting these videos on YouTube. It's an experience. It's a learning experience. What do I need to do? How do I need to grow? Blah blah blah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe down below. Click that red button. I post very regularly. I mean, almost daily. I think. So see you soon. Peace, guys. Bye.